In today's video, I'm going to be going over the annotation technique that you use for those winter Sundays with uh, the Robert Hayden poem. But today I'm going to be focusing on only the opening three paragraphs of the short story, A Family Supper by Kazuro Ishiguro. Now you've probably already read and discussed this story in class, but before you write your paragraph responses um, to the prompt you've been given, which is a Q2 style prompt, I wanted to go over this annotation technique. Now this short story is generally popular among students because of its intrigue and um, heavy mysteriousness, especially in the opening three paragraphs. If you look in the opening two sentences alone, um, it's very intriguing. The story starts off with, Fugu is a fish caught off the Pacific shores of Japan. The fish has held a special significance for me ever since my mother died through eating one. Now, I'm only focusing on the opening three paragraphs because I want to show you that you could use this technique sort of as a chunking method in separating this short story into sections. So if we go by the three sections that we use for the poem, we'll scroll down and see that as the short story is put in the middle, I went through the opening paragraph and highlighted things that jumped out to me that were very tense and that seemed to present a conflict of some sort, um, a complexity or a struggle that the narrator might be experiencing. So if you look at what I've highlighted, the phrases ever since my mother died through eating one, the word fragile, the phrase with caution, and also the phrase, it is not easy to tell. Now, looking at those highlighted portions alone, it gives you a lot of insight into what type of person our narrator might be right here in the opening. Um, again, we don't have a lot of insight exactly to what is going on in the story or with his family, but if you use the same annotation technique with prose, it's the same structure. So after I've highlighted, I'm going to make notes over on the left side of abstract nouns that seem to demonstrate that conflict or seem to demonstrate that structure. And then, of course, on this side, this is going to help you significantly shorten your work when you have to provide a response, is if you go ahead and make a note of the literary techniques that are showing that conflict, then you'll be able to explain how that technique is shown by the author in order to show that complexity. Because if you look at the prompt that you're given for the story, in his short story, the narrator returns home during a difficult time for the family, analyze how Ishiguro uses literary elements or techniques to reveal the, compl the complex relationship between the narrator and his family. So if you can identify that complexity and you can explain how the author is using a literary element to do so, then you're completing both tasks. So I just put as an extra here that analyzing a longer text for something like tone um, can be very accessible because you know the tone is going to shift within a short story and you can structure your body paragraphs based on the tone shift. Um, please keep in mind that a writer can use multiple techniques to exhibit a certain tone. It's not always one thing. It could be something as simple as just the word choice, but please identify that word choice as a certain type of diction. It could be imagery, figurative language, sentence structure, etc. Any type of device that you feel like a writer is purposely choosing to use, um, make sure that you link your evidence to that technique along with, of course, your claims and commentary, and you'll have yourself an analysis response. 